Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be talking about Tesla. Tesla just posted their quarterly Q2 2019 results. And here are my five biggest takeaways. Let's get started. <music> The first issue I want to talk about is demand because demand is the main point ever since Tesla has opened and these short sellers keep saying there's no demand and Tesla is going to go bankrupt. So I'm just going to cover the first issue, demand. In Q2, Model 3 deliveries reached an all-time high record of 77,634 vehicles. Not only Model 3 was once again the best selling premium vehicle in the US, is outselling all of its gas-powered equivalents combined. In comparison, BMW delivered Series 3 and Series 4 vehicles of about 17,000 and Mercedes had about 12,000 vehicles. I don't even want to talk about Audi here, but if you combine all these gas-powered equivalent, they couldn't add up to Tesla. So three years ago, Tesla unveiled the Model 3. Two years ago, they brought the product to market. One year ago, they demonstrated they could clearly do mass production and this year, they have demonstrated they have sustained organic demand. So the argument used by Tesla shorts is not valid anymore. And let's move on to point number two. In point two, we are going to talk about the numbers. Tesla reported a $167 million operating loss, a massive improvement from Q1 of $494 million. They added $614 million in cash flow and a total of $5 billion cash now. Personally, I think that $5 billion is too much cash on hand and I think they will use the money to reinvest in infrastructure, building service centers and so on and so forth. One of the biggest takeaways for numbers is that they say they do not need to raise cash again, which is a very big point. But then again, I'm 50-50 on it. I believe they should still continue raising cash to reinvest the business and let it grow faster. The third biggest takeaway I have is the profit margins. Tesla reported a profit margin of 19% and that is massive compared to the rest of the industry standard. The industry standard is only 10%. So Tesla is a very profitable company. Tesla has not realized profits from full self-driving. So once they start to do that, their profit margins will jump dramatically to 30%. The fourth biggest takeaway is the creation of demand. Elon Musk mentioned that human psychology is mostly the same all over the world. So you need to fulfill these four factors to create the demand. So the first factor is just enough service centers around. So if you have a service center near you, probably you think of buying the car. The second would be charging infrastructure. If there's enough charging infrastructure around, people will less likely worry about range. It's just like driving a fossil fuel vehicle. If you have no petrol stations nearby you, you won't be buying a car. The third point will be financing. Very few people will purchase their car with full cash. So if you have a good financing structure for these people, they will probably buy your car. Uh, of course, the fourth point is a very simple point. As, as long as the price is right, people will buy the car. Currently right now, the Model 3 the running cost of a Model 3 is cheaper than a Toyota Camry over 5 years. The fifth biggest takeaway from this quarterly 2 earnings is the future of Tesla. So for the next 12 months, these are the events that are going to happen. Firstly, Gigafactory 3 China will be producing at scale. So probably about 5,000 vehicles per week. Next, we're going to have the Model Y which is an SUV addressing the most popular vehicle segments out there. It's also very exciting to hear about the European Gigafactory. So we have Gigafactories in US and now in China. So the next one is upcoming Europe. Full self-driving will be along the way. So probably when you go inside your car, you click your destination, your car will drive you all the way there. Tesla's energy products are usually under the radar, but I foresee growth in the next one year. The most exciting thing I'm looking forward to, and Elon already gave a date for it already, is Battery Investor Day, which is going to be next year around February or March. Why am I so excited about Battery Investor Day? Because currently right now, Tesla is limited by their battery supplies. They are not limited by demand, but they are limited by the amount of batteries they can produce. Currently, Tesla has an output of roughly 30 gigawatts per hour. 30 gigawatts per hour is not a small number. If you add up the total worlds of lithium battery production in the world, Tesla alone makes more than 50% of it. They mentioned during the conference call that they want to up it to 2 terawatts per hour. That is like 60 times what they are currently doing right now. You know how massive that is? I understand why they want to push it so far. It's because currently they are not constrained by demand. 
They're constrained by the amount of batteries they can produce and they're already producing more than 50% of the world's supply of lithium batteries already. I hope you find this video useful. Please give me a like so you can help me spread this message to more people out there. Again, subscribe and on that notification bell. Thank you. Good. Bye.